Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. Merry Christmas. We are in that time of year with so many exciting things going on. And this is really a season where God wants us to experience His joy. But like I started talking about yesterday, there are so many things also during this season that can rob us of that joy. Yesterday, we focused on busyness, those to-do lists, all those things we want to accomplish, that full calendar before us. Today, I want to talk about loneliness. Loneliness is such a real thing that many of us are facing specifically during the holiday seasons. See, so much of the holiday excitement is about getting together with family and friends and experience community with one another and enjoyment. And yet for for maybe you, the sting of loneliness, the heaviness of loneliness is really robbing you of the joy that God wants you to receive. I can understand that. Some of you may know, but my entire family lives in another state, really spread out around the country. Um, My brother lives in Oregon, so West Coast. Um, My other brother lives in Minnesota, um, so middle, Midwest. My parents live in Idaho, between the two of them. And then my husband and and our kids live out here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. And you know what? I, I... I handle it pretty good. I handle it pretty good throughout the the year. Um, I keep myself busy. <laughs> I should listen to the daily dose from yesterday. Um, but the holidays are hard sometimes. If I were honest, they're hard all the time. It's it's a constant reminder as people are getting together with their family and friends that my family's not here. And all those fun memories as people post pictures of opening presents and grandma and grandpa sitting there cousins playing. I'm I'm reminded that my kids don't have that experience during the holidays. And it can really get to the point sometimes that I, I can get really robbed of my own joy because I'm focusing on what I don't have. There's also times even in the middle of a crowd that I can feel alone. Have you ever, have you ever felt like that? Even when there are people around, there can just be this sense maybe isolation or of loneliness that's in your soul. And Jesus understands that. There's a beautiful scripture in, in the book of John, chapter 16, where Jesus talks about the impending loneliness that he knows he's about to experience. He's having a conversation with his disciples, and in verse 32, he says this, But the time is coming, indeed it is here now, when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Jesus is talking about when the disciples are going to scatter after his death and resurrection, and he describes it here that he's realizing, he's knowing that he will be alone. But listen to the next part of this verse. He says, yet I am not alone because the Father, God, is with me. You see, Jesus was human, just just like you and me. He, He experienced loneliness on this earth, just like you and me. He understands the pain of loneliness, just like you and me. And yet he knew the secret of how to work through that loneliness because he recognized that God was always with him. He always had complete access to the Father. And and when we spend time alone, (laughs) isn't that an interesting terminology, but when we spend time alone with God, we're actually not alone. You see, you might look around the room, so to speak, and there's no one physically there and you feel alone. But God's presence is real and vibrant and tangible to us. And no matter what circumstance you're facing this holiday season, If you have a calendar full of time getting together with family and friends or you're looking at that empty chair at the table, remember that you're not alone. Take time specifically to spend time together with God, to spend time enjoying his presence, to spend time allowing him to heal that pain of loneliness in your life. Allow him to reveal to you the benefits of spending time with him so that this season you're not robbed, 
but you actually gain the joy that he wants to give. Hey, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope to see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.